Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds channel and today I'm going to be talking about how to make an elephant tusks glow in Adobe Photoshop. Without further ado, I'm going to go to my copy of Photoshop which I downloaded earlier from the Adobe website. You can subscribe um, on a monthly basis or yearly basis. Go to File, go to Open. I have an image of an elephant which I downloaded previously. The next step is to select the whole elephant image with the select tool. Click on quick selection tool. Do this carefully. Take your time and select the whole image. Now that you've selected the elephant, um, what you want to do is you want to refine your edges and to do that you want to select mask select and mask once you've done that you want to go to the view mode and you want to select the onion skin and off click you want to make sure that the transparency is set to 50%, which it is in this case. And then you want to set about brushing the edges. Go to refine an edge brush. Make sure the size is about 30. And go ahead and try to refine the edges. Once you've found the edges, you want to change the view mode to on black A. Go to the drop down, go to on black A and off click. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to refine the edges. And you want to find the edges of the of the tusks as well. Then you want to go down to contrast. It is here and you want to change that to 9%. Then you want to go to decontaminate, which is further down where you have the output settings. And it's decontaminate colors. The amount should be 100, but the output must be set to new layers with layer mask. Then click on OK. 
so you can see the new layer mask and you can see the original background that's the original background and then this is the new, new layer mask which is taken off the background which is now called background copy now what you want to do is you want to click on the black and white background image with the elephant just on control and select then what you want to do is you want to copy across the tusks so unselect which you've been selected click on the plus sign you want to copy across the tasks and to do that you want to go to the select quick select tool and you want to select the tasks you can always go to edit and do quick selection go to edit and do quick then I'll select the other tasks once that is done once you've selected and the tasks you want to go to control and j which will copy across the tasks the task into a new layer control and j so it's a new layer and if i close the eye on the background copy you will see the new layer so you can see layer one with the new tasks and that's the main background now what you want to do is you want to group layer one and you do that by clicking on control and G notice the folder box that has just appeared and you can group the layer by clicking on the drop down and you can see now that it is hidden so now you want to go to the group one layer what you want to do is you want to go to the group one layer which is here and you want to Create, go to the create and fill adjustment icon which is at the bottom select color lookup which is this one and then you want to go to the drop down menu and select moonlight 3dl like so now you want to go to the fill and adjustment which is at the bottom and you want to select black and white now you can see the black and white layer has now appeared you want to keep that selected but you want to change the capacity of this layer to 50% go here and enter now you want to go to group 1 
which is the drop down and then you want to go to layer one which is this one and then you want to convert this to a smart layer smart object that's what yeah, converts my object then you want to highlight it and control and J which will duplicate it so then you have layer one and then layer one copy and then layer one underneath it layer one copy should be selected you want to go to the drop down menu and then you want to select linear dodge add notice the tusks color change now you want to go to filter which is at the top you want to go to blur go to gaussian blur and you want to change if you click on the tasks can see the task here you want to change the radius pixels to five so that we have softer edges okay then what we want to do is we want to duplicate layer one copy you do that by doing control and j so now you have layer one copy two go to smart filters and go to Gaussian blur just double click that it's still on the previous radius of 5 you want to change that radius now to 100 click on OK next you want to duplicate layer 1 copy 2 you either use control and J or duplicate layer click on OK so now that's going to be layer 1 copy 3 and you want to go to Gaussian play blur and change that 100 to 250 so the radius should be 250 click on OK now you want to duplicate that layer 1 copy 3 so then it should say layer 1 copy 4 click on OK go to smart filter and then Gaussian blur double click and change that 250 to 500 so the radius should be 500 click on OK now you want to go to group 1 just turn on and off so you can see some of the differences in color all the layers should um, now fall under group one so if I click on that and then you should be left with just the background copy and the um, black and white thumbnail make sure group one is selected and now you want to go to the new fill and adjustment which is uh, at the bottom which says create new fill or adjustment layer and then you want to select hue and saturation then underneath hue and saturation you want to click on create clipping mask which is this box here and that creates a new clipping mask then you want to click on colorize and what you can do here is you can um, increase your saturation to your preference 
Right. Here. You can lighten it. You can lighten it more or lighten it as well to the preference that you want. So you can adjust the hue, adjust the saturation to however you want. I think this is about right for me. Now you want to go to the background copy layer, which is this one. And then you want to go to click on curves. And to do that, you go to the adjustments layer. Go to curves. And then you want to click on create clipping mask, which is this here. Once you've done that, you can pull the graph to adjust the color. As you can see, it's adjusting a little bit more. That works well. So then you have a bit of a glow effect. And then you click on X to close the properties. Make sure the layer is still selected, which it is. And then you go to the left brush tool, which is here. Click on the brush tool. Make sure the capacity is 100%, the flow is 30, and you want the foreground to be black, which it is. And I'm just going to gently brush the tusks. Now I want to go to Hue and Saturation, which is above Group 1. Select that. I'm going to click on Control and J or Duplicate Layer. So I'll just click on Control and J. So you've got two copies. And I want to drag down the Hue and Saturation one copy. So it's the first thing that you see in group one in terms of the layers. So drag it down. Right, so underneath group one, we now have hue and saturation, copy one. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the color on this by going to the tool. Click on color, look up, and select the great clipping mask. And then click on X. Then I'm going to go to the hue and saturation again, which is just under the box one. And then click on control and I, which will invert the mask control. Then you should go to the paintbrush tool which is in the left hand corner and um, make sure that the foreground is white. So we're going to inverse that. Go to the picker tool, select white, click OK. And then we're going to whiten the tusks a bit more.
Then we're going to click on the uh, move tool. And then we're going to make sure that the, uh, the hue and saturation, which is ant layer, which is just under group one, is selected. Capacity needs to be uh, 100%. which it is. And now we want to go to the hue and saturation, which is just above group one, which is this one. And then we want to have it selected, which we do. And then we want to go and add some images around the um, around the background. So if I turn the background on, so you can see the background, I'm just going to drag that image, which is a star. And drag that on. So now that I've dragged on the image, I want to go to my drop down, which is here. And then I want to select a blending tool called option called screen. So you can see that it's blended um, into the background. So I now have some stars. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand the stars across the whole of the screen. Then I click on OK. Then what I'm going to do is make sure that the stars layer is selected. Go further down and make sure you click on mask, which is add mask layer, which I have done. Select the layer and then click on control and I, which will invert the mask. I'm now going to go to the left hand and click on the brush tool, which is here. Make sure the brush is selected. You're going to switch the foreground so that it's, it is white, which it is. Click on that, make sure it's okay. And then I'm going to brush the tusks a bit more. So you can see some of the stars appearing. Around the tusks. And let's just give it around the trunk as well, but mainly the tusks. We want to increase the filter to probably 72, the flow. So it can brighten up a bit, 64, 70, 72, yep. Yeah. So around the tusks, you can see some more stars. I'm going to keep brushing until you, you've got a good amount of stars around the tusks. Then you want to go to create new fill or adjustment. And then you want to select levels. You want to click on create clipping mask, which is this here. And you want to make sure that level one is selected on your right in the layer, which it is. 
and then you want to move the cursors at the bottom to just adjust it. So you can adjust the sharpness of the um, the stars, reduce it a bit. So that, I think that's a bit better. Then you click on X. Make sure the le levels one layer is still highlighted. You want to go to color lookup and you do that by going here. And you want to go to your color lookup. And you want to select crisp warm under the 3D LUT file. So Chris warm look and it looks quite nice and warm. And if you you can now see the background with the stars. And if you've enjoyed watching this video of um, how you can make the tusks of an elephant glow in Photoshop, please um, like this video or give me some comments on if you want to see something much similar to this. Thank you very much for um, viewing my video. Please subscribe to my channel and um, see you.